We are now more than halfway through 2022. Cleveland police are reporting a significant decrease in crime so far this year. Violent crime, arrests, and use of force in, uh, incidents all much lower than previous years. And News 5 anchor Delon Dillard, he sat down exclusively with Cleveland's new police chief as well as the public safety director. To break down these numbers, he begins our in-depth coverage tonight, looking at ways that the city is battling this violence. And Delon, despite all of this, they say, some people say, there's still some work that needs to be done. Yeah, I mean, it's really good news for residents. Obviously, this is something that people want to hear, but we took these numbers to community groups who witness this violence almost daily. No one is complaining, obviously, when they hear that crime numbers are down, but I'm told that not everyone feels this decrease in crime just yet. The bottom line here, so far this year, Cleveland police numbers show a notable drop in crime compared to this same time last year. There's already a decrease in calls for service this year and just over 50% fewer guns were confiscated. This is, reflects the hard work of the men and women of the Division of Police. Now, there are some numbers that are lower, you know, with arrests, gun seizures, but it's lower because we have a lower staffing. But the, the, the officers that we have here are extremely effective. It is no secret, Cleveland Police is short over 280 officers right now. Public Safety Director Kerry Howard and Police Chief Wayne Drummond tell me they did not achieve these numbers alone, pointing to CBD's partnerships with the FBI, State Patrol, and the Sheriff's Department. They kind of stepped away. Not quite sure why they stepped away, but now it's reinvigorated, if I can use that word, uh, where they're coming in. Uh, every time we've called, they have not said no, and they continue to uh, assist us. Now, big picture here, this is all about the community. And we've been at recent community meetings like this one on Cleveland's east side just over three weeks ago as residents shared their safety concerns with Howard. Maisha Watkins knows those concerns very well. Her organization, Cleveland Peacemakers Alliance, responds to all calls regarding violence in the community to prevent it from happening again. For community members and family that you all engage with regularly, if you brought these numbers to them, what would their reaction be? Would they would, would this be believable? I think the reaction would be, um, I think the reaction will be, I'm grateful that the information is there, but I'm still fearful that the, the feeling of safety is not. And the chief says he is not naive to that. What we want to do is ensure the uh, residents that we're doing everything we can uh, to provide the best possible service. Uh, it's also important for the residents that's living in the city of Cleveland in the various neighborhoods to get involved as mm -hmm. much as they can, provide us information. Watkins says she notices city leadership's work in the community, but adds CPD needs to continue partnering with grassroots groups so residents can really feel the impact. I think um, just being consistent and showing up, not just as a reaction to violence, but as a preventative method um, and showing up into community before crime happens and building those relationships. Not just looking at the enforcement, it's, it's, you know, it's law enforcement, community engagement and providing activities for people to do. Um, those things are things that have to happen, right? Okay, so Mayor Bitt will address these numbers publicly tomorrow at noon. He will be joined by Director Howard and Chief Drummond along with several other city leaders. We, of course, we will be there in the meantime, you can check out that full report of that full mid-year report. It's available on our website, news5cleveland.com.